Hi, Sierra Player here with Player Real Estate, and I'm so excited to tell you why did I move to Grass Valley. And you know what? I didn't actually move to Grass Valley. I moved to the Grass Valley area. I live in Penn Valley now, but you know what? I want to kind of dive deep into why did I choose this area? And I know a lot of people come from out of the area and they're not really sure. And I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience with you. So we originally used to vacation in Grass Valley. We loved the Yuba River. We loved the small historic towns, the good food. That just made us feel all magical inside. And unfortunately, November 8th, 2018, we lived in a little town called Megalia, which is right above Paradise, California. And unfortunately, um, we lost our home in the fire, of course, as the whole town did. I mean, we were displaced for a long time. And so we were racking our brain. We were put in a very unique situation where we could move wherever we wanted. And we had a lot of friends moving out of state and moving to different counties and towns and nobody knew what to do. And we took a deep breath and we decided where we're gonna be. And after couch surfing on friends and family's couches for a while, we found ourselves in an Airbnb in Nevada City. These wonderful, amazing people took us in rent free, opened their little cabin up to us that was on their property. And literally, thank you. You guys are the nicest people ever. Side note. So we really had an opportunity to live in Nevada City for a while and decide, is this where we wanna be? We went ahead and after a few months, got a rental in Nevada City uh, from another friend that was helping us out. It was really wonderful. And we lived there for almost a year and a half and we got to see all the seasons. And during that exploratory phase, we, we're looking at other states, of course, because we had that opportunity to kind of, we didn't have many things left, so we could move wherever we wanted. And we looked at Indiana, um, we looked at Texas, Idaho, of course Idaho, Montana. I guess we explored a little bit of maybe Oregon or Washington. And we decided after going and flying to several places and really checking it out there and determining, you know, what are our core things that we needed. And we needed a really super cute downtown with a historic vibe. My husband and I love gold panning, um, or we did it a lot more when we didn't have, as, have two kids. But, you know, we love the outdoors and the nature and that cute little downtown and shopping and, Having a place where someone will look you in the eye and say hi at the grocery store just as you drive by on a, a quiet road to wave and acknowledge your existence and we wanted to have that friendly atmosphere and all the places that we went to it just didn't feel quite right and all places were leading us to stay in Nevada County. So we really got serious. Of course, as a real estate agent, I'm the world's worst buyer, the most picky buyer. You know, I constantly tell myself to, oh my gosh, why are you being so picky? You know, you know, you work with people every day and they're not as hard to work with as you are being to yourself. So we definitely looked here and we we're having a hard time. We were in escrow on a house. Fire insurance was insane. You know, the seller was unreasonable and gosh, we just felt like we were getting blocked from that house. So we decided to cancel that house. We were getting really serious about possibly moving to Montana. We had put some offers in there. None of those offers were getting accepted, which was like really frustrating for us. And then all of a sudden, we never considered Penn Valley because my husband said it was too hot. Anyways. All of a sudden, my husband sends me a listing in Penn Valley, which we told me to take off the list. I must exclaim, like I must tell you guys. But from the picture, we were like, oh my gosh, we have to see this house today. So we go, and as soon as we drive up, it was like, hallelujah. And 
I just had a feeling. I didn't even walk in the house. I just like knew driving up, seeing the big heritage oak, the beautiful black and white house that we were like dreaming of, that this was our house. And then of course, pulling in, walking through. It was the farmhouse I always dreamed of. And you know, there were some compromises I had to make. It was kind of close to a busy road, so you can hear some road noise. But I mean, two acres on an amazingly close to town property that was farmhouse style and level. And I mean, we, we really found the house that was right for us. Luckily, it was right during the first lockdown for COVID. So everybody was scared to buy a home. We went ahead and went for it. We ended up getting a steal on the house. It had been sitting on the market for a while. And man, are we grateful that we did that because to be frank, we couldn't afford this home that we have now if, if it was in today's market. So after exploring and working in real estate in this area for, I guess, gosh, it's been four years, almost five years now. Um, I went ahead and have kind of compiled these things that I was not sure of. And we were really thinking that the elevation differences were going to make a huge difference. So one thing to know is Nevada City, you do get snow. People may tell you you don't get snow, but since I've lived here, Nevada City does get snow. It's higher elevation. It's super cute. You do pay a little bit more for that Nevada City zip code. Gotta love it. But, you know, it's a really small artistic style community that is, you know, really alluring to that. It has great food, walkable downtown. It's cute and it's historic. You've got pine trees and that fresh air elevation. Um, Another thing about Grass Valley that we liked and we considered that it was kind of a mixing belt of the elevation, so not quite so high where you get crazy snow. I mean, in some areas you do, but you don't get crazy as much crazy snow. You do get snow though, which a lot of people like having not intense snow, but having a little bit of snow makes it kind of magical, you know? Um, you get a mix of pine and oak trees. Um, it's a little, like middle elevation there, 1800 uh, square foot level, or 1800 <laughs> square foot, 1800 feet elevation, you know, it's just a little bit higher, um, which, you know, obviously is really nice. There's just so many different locations in Grass Valley. It's actually pretty large, and so the neighborhoods are vastly different going from one side of town to the other. So it's really important to know, uh, being a real estate agent and seeing so many homes, it was really nice to actually get a feel for the area and what we like and what we don't like. And then of course, Penn Valley, which is where we actually end up buying a house. Um, I always grew up on a two acre area, kind of in Happy Valley, California. And if you Google it, it's like this big and it's all ranch land. And so this is what really brought me to this property, nice flat. Um, Penn Valley just tends to be more of an equestrian style farming, ranching community. There's so much more to it than you would actually anticipate because it's got the towns, but they're kind of tucked away. Um, so you've got bigger properties, but you're close to town, good school systems. That's why we decided to move here. But you know, gosh, we looked all over the place and I think the really special thing about this area is the two cute downtowns. They're basically like six minutes away from each other. Two historic cute downtowns with great restaurants, awesome shopping. We chose it because people look you in the eye and they talk to you and they make you feel welcome and they're helpful. I mean, neighbors, having good neighbors is so underestimated and I feel like there's so many good neighbors in this town. Our neighbors let us borrow the tractor when we need to. I, I mean, they're lending a helping hand. You know, we had a, our backyard kind of got filled with the water and people were out here helping us and not expecting anything. And um, so that down home neighborhood feel is one of the main reasons why we stayed. Obviously we have friends and family in this area. Um, so that's another reason, but truly when we were looking in Montana and Texas, 
we were thinking, oh, we're gonna go out and we're gonna be free there. But we were really surprised to see a lot of these properties that had five, 10 acres were still in very strict HOAs where you couldn't even ride your dirt bike or your quad. And I just like, that just didn't feel right. You know, you move to those areas to be free. And then in California, where we were living in Penn Valley was way more free here than it was being a part of an HOA where you have 10 acres, but you're not allowed to store your RV on it, you know? Just a little silly and something we didn't understand when we went there. Um, yes, property taxes are a little high, but you know, it was worth it to stay close to our family and to, to be in a great climate and to have a really nice little town that we got to call home. What else? I mean, gosh, there's so much to learn about this area. And one thing I really want to do is take you along and show you each little area and what's special about it, what makes it unique, and get give you a down rundown of exactly what it's like so you can determine if you may want to be here or not. Um, anyways, that's just a little insight on why we moved here, what we were looking for, what made us determine this particular spot. And, you know, we did compromise a little bit. I... I, and I don't even, I don't even need those things. It's just so funny. I was the world's pickiest buyer and the things I compromised on that I thought were big deals ended up not being big deals at all. And so I just wanted to let you know a little bit of our journey here. I wanna actually do another video with my husband so he can kind of talk about his experience. Um, and then I wanna, I'm gonna do some pros and cons videos about this area versus another area that's close and that way you can decide if you're maybe from out of town looking to come in um just the truth i mean the truth of this area and if it's right for you and, or if it's not because if you want to live in the middle of a hustle bustle city um you know this is not the place for you maybe you look in sacramento or san francisco or oakland those are more suitable for that. Here, you're more quiet, country, slow pace of life, which, you know, I don't need the extra stress. I love feeling a little slower pace of life. That, to me, is where my happiness lives. So, anyways, if you are looking to buy or sell in this area, Grass Valley or the surrounding areas, please reach out and let me know. I would love to be of assistance to you, give you the inside scoop about the different areas and what you can expect. And I'm just, I'm just here for you if you need anything. And I appreciate you watching this long ass video because honestly, it is hella long. So anyways, I hope you're doing well. I hope to see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below what you think of this area if you've ever been here what your favorite part was or if you've been thinking about going in this area or if california is like hell no i'm out of here uh, because every time i post something on facebook about this area and people see it's california they're like f california but i think that's that's california's worth it i love living here anyways so hope you have a great day done rambling talk to you later thanks for watching and let's connect all right bye